This lecture is titled Principle of List Astonishment. Another basic principle on top of which a great number of other principles stand is the principle of list astonishment. This principle states that a component of a system should behave in a manner consistent with how users of that component are likely expected to behave. The following principles and techniques are based on the principle of list astonishment and of course they help to conform with this principle. Fault safe API, command query separation, immutability, design by contract, and null prevention, and many others. Look at the following example. We have a reporting class with two methods, print report A and print report B. And this code snippet works fine, but if a client changes the sequence of these calls like this, a database connection error occurs. The thing is that a database connection opens at the beginning of the print report A method and closes at the end of the print report B method. This is a simple example which has a strong smell of temporal coupling where the root cause is the side effect which is hidden from the client, making the API astonishing from the client's point of view. Humorously we can conclude that the metric which reflects the factor of astonishment of an API is the number of shouted WTFs per minute. Put simply, the principle of least astonishment means a design should both create expectations and fulfill those expectations. It should do pretty much what people expect it to do. Another example of an API which astonishes its clients is the API of the standard Java stack, standard stack implementation in Java, expose push and pop methods. And in addition, it exposes the add method inherited from the vector class. God's sake, what the add method is supposed to do? Where the item is going to be added? It's absolutely astonishing. I was almost crying when I faced that API for the first time. Here's an example from the C-Shop. A user would expect from the iList that it allows to add items. Unfortunately, even the C-Shop type system is not ideal. In this case, the not supported exception will be thrown. In the next lecture, you'll learn what is the information hiding and encapsulation and what is the difference between them.